Rema Fire Boy are uh, motivators, not competitions, and this is coming from Joe Boy. So he had a an interview with Sammy Wash um, on T MTV Biz, and of course he he said a lot of things. But I like that he has this mindset because so many people in the creative space would normally see themselves as competitors um, rather than understanding that they are there to kind of fulfill their personal art purpose. And I, I am sad that we didn't get to talk about um, a topic we were supposed to discuss last week um, regarding someone who came out to say that, I can't remember the exact word now, but he was trying to also say that he's doing this to just better himself and also encourage artists to do the same thing as comedians do. Because when you look at the comedians and what they do on Instagram, that's the Instagram. Even the stand-up comedians, they actually support themselves yeah. a great deal. So one of them is having an event. Everybody's promoting that event. Yeah, one of them, an they're doing... That, right? not, yeah, it was an artist. Brian, was um, not, not I think it was Sam Clef. Sam Clef, yes. So the um, they're having a skit. You can see a, a, a comedian that just started today. And of course, the comedian is big already and already collaborating with other bigger um, um, comedians to create content and push out there. And everybody stays relevant. Everybody's making a few money. Some money's from um, YouTube. You're getting recognition. You're working for brands. And the space is big enough. Yeah. So I think I like that mindset. And I yeah. think it's very healthy mm. as far as I'm concerned. I think for a, crea for a creator, that's a good place to to be in. From a consumer perspective, I would still say that they're com competition. Was, to me, yeah. mm -hmm. for me, yep. it's, it's still competition. Like, I would, I, I'm not going to download all that music. So I'm going to figure out, I'll compete, Ooh. I'll play them against each other. Whose album is the best that I, I want to download? Mm. So, from a consumer perspective, it's still a competition. But it's a healthy space for him to be in, to think like that. And you can absolutely, absolutely get um, influence from each other and from, and make good music. So, I like the lullaby perspective, but for me, well, in know, reality... Not, for now, in rea the reality is not really about downloading anymore people just stream mm. so it depends on your mood and what you want to listen to i can't say i have anybody's song on my phone anymore i just open my apple music and i stream so i can be doing fireboy today and tomorrow i feel like joe boy yeah but it goes, i've it never goes really even, felt like rema anyway i'm sorry but yeah, yeah. I'm just saying so yeah. mm -hmm. it goes even deeper than that like concerts and stuff i feel like this these people my worry with them is that they they have so, i think i can remove Rema a bit from that, mm -hmm. to be honest. I think Rema makes just a little bit more different type of music. But Joe Boy and Fire Boy, like if they had a concert together, that's when you know that this is not a lullaby song and there will be real competition because they will be offering me the same vibe. So I'm going to have to pick which one do I like more. Um, and that's why I'm saying that it's for, for, from a consumer perspective, it is a competition. I'm beginning to begin to fall in love. Hmm. Benny. Yeah. Um, she, like Riley said, when, when I have to pick, that, that's always going to happen. That, that is always going to happen mm -hmm. for those who consume the music, you know. But I think it's a good it's a good place he is in in the art sphere to think, you know, nobody I'm not competing with anybody, um, and so. But unfortunately, what we all don't realize at the end of the day, whether the very moment you wake up and you step out of your house, you get on that stage, whatever it is you do, people are already measuring you that way. Mm -hmm. It's that's competition already. You get mm -hmm. measured by people. Well, let them you do know? the um, the measuring. But, don't but, do yeah. it yourself. Yeah. But is, it, is that is, is the same with every mind out there who, who who has some certain kind of art form? I don't think so because you know, somebody setting out setting concerts, setting out arenas, setting out. There's there's always that that mm -hmm. that, uh, uh, that just, thing that will come in. Just like, to okay, change you know? perspective, yeah. I think I'm also very happy about the fact that we can even say three young boys. That I don't think that was in my childhood. Like I don't remember growing up looking at young people in my playlist. Like we had. People who are always older. The only person I can think of was Whiskey, and that was still when I was much older. I feel like now the millennials really have young people representing their music. Um, in and, this part of the world. Yes, right? in this yes. part of the world. Um, and they're doing really well for themselves. Like, remember as a kid, they all are, and they're doing really well producing good music. I think the ones that I remember well, growing up. Well, you know up, they had Corey DeBillo and Ricardo Banks too at some point. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, at some point, that's yeah. it. You know, but I, I, again, I think it's a good thing for the Nigerian music industry to know that we have youngsters who are coming and yeah. they hit makers. I, I want to see you know, this in... Luke Cash and was supposed people. to be in that space, but that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say. The ones that I saw didn't really have... I guess Alte vibe also launched these people because the Alte vibe is 
very millennial. So you have Odusi, you have all those people. Jeans, yeah. The bulge, um, but what I want to start hair. seeing now are women in that age category. Um, mm. And I'm guessing culture so, is not what's not so, allowing us to see that. Their parents well, have allowed them to yeah. go out, first of all. Well, they're, they're, <laughs> to they're, meet people. That age. That that no, big. Okay, that I can't age. say yeah. one. Yeah, because um, I can't. I can't think of one person. Good girl, good girl, LA. Good girl is late twenties. Yeah, and then what's the other girl name now? Um, the why you want to try me? Um, Tammy, Tim, Tim's Tim's, baby, sorry. you know, but I don't think I don't think they're in their teens. They're, no, they're they're not. Tim's well over twenties, yeah. 20s, you know. Yeah. But again, it's still really a good thing to see that we have youngsters who people are now looking up to for vibes and hits away from the regular, the usual suspects, yeah. you know, them two faced Timaya. And I hope that their uh, parenting skills also change because um, if you look at like the Western world, we can take cues from them and see how that can easily turn left for mm. people who start too early in the industry. And I don't think that Nigeria is gonna be any different for these kids. Um, I remember watching, when we, we, we talked about Rema and he was saying that he wanted girls to be quiet. I remember watching the whole interview actually. And there's some few things in there that I was just like really worried about. Like, I hope this man has proper like eyes Diamond. on things because he needs to go watch um what's it called justin bieber's documentary coming out and talking about his depression and his drug abuse and all of that stuff and they are kind of like in the same category and take a few cues from this so i wish them the very best but i i really hope that they have like serious guidance going on in this journey because I, I i i see them getting even just bigger from here yeah so talking about the old dogs like you mentioned two Face, have you listened to his new to album new yeah. have you? No, no, is there an ep on album it's an, an album. album. It's an album. Well, yes. Just, just it's clips an amazing. On, on, I've heard on Instagram, one. You know, is it the one with Burner Boy? Yeah, I think it's okay. the one with Burner Boy. I've heard that one, but I haven't heard. No, you need else. to listen to the whole album.